hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel thank you guys so much for tuning in my name is ndobo zuma josie and yeah thank you so much for tuning in so ndobo zuma josie is a girl who grew up in the township yes kwamashu is ngangawini and growing up as a child i was very bubbly still am um, I love people. I love to, you know, um, hang around with people. I love to see people laugh. You know, I just love excitement, being in the moment, and I just want everyone to be happy. So, growing up, guys, I was a daddy's girl. And you know, like every everywhere when you see where you see my dad, I will always be there. So, you know, me being a daddy's girl, I would say that I was a bit tomboyish in a way because, you know, I was like so close with my dad and my dad, I would say, I think that my dad wanted a son because, you know, my dad, um, I'm the firstborn at home and my brother is, um, we're basically ages apart. So I think that my dad wanted a son. Unfortunately, I was born. So obviously he had to just accept me. So anyways, um, I just love life and yeah. I will forever be grateful for my parents. Growing up, we used to live in a shack and it was so warm, like, the shack was so warm guys like it was honestly warm because of the love that my my parents has ha, had given us and um you know as much as there wasn't enough to go from but my parents always made sure that we were happy we had everything that we needed in terms of food um clothing and i will forever be grateful and the one thing that my my mom has taught me that is so important in life is that you can never do anything without christ and for me um growing up in that kind of environment um as a child you don't really understand in terms of um what what is Christianity in a way or or what does it mean having God in your life and so when I was um, uh, at a stage where I could make my my own decisions and when I understood more with regards to um, faith and and God and you know Christianity I decided that I wanted to have an intimate relationship an intimate sexual relationship with the person that i will get married to so i had then decided that i will only be intimate with the guy that i will get married to and so hence um i stayed a virgin until i was the age of i think no until i was the age of 24 going on to 25 and that was when i got married god has been amazing guys because being a virgin is and especially at this at this generation is not easy um you know there's peer pressure from your friends and i don't know it's like it's not normal anymore to be a virgin so it was very challenging but i was you know like very uh, honored and I was very grateful for you know um, being a virgin and uh, keeping my virginity until I got married and obviously I gave it to my husband and yeah so anyways um, the turning point in my life was when I failed my matric yeah so I believe that at that stage God wanted to grow me spiritually even though it didn't seem like it at the time because it was so hurtful and I thought that it was just like the end of the world and you know a lot of things were happening um, and I just I just wanted to give up 
at the age of 17 failing my matric i've had never failed a class before this was the first time and why my matric you know i was asking myself all of these questions and i just thought that you know what this this is not life i cannot do this i cannot but nonetheless uh long story short uh god has been with me has been by my side always and i am happy to say that i have graduated i have a diploma in library and information studies and i am going to graduate again this year for my degree so i mean guys what can i say god is just amazing it's just that we need to wait for the perfect time and we need to be patient and we need to let god we need to allow him to take over our life so I am married to Olani Majosi and yeah, when I got married, uh, there was a lot of doubt because of people's response. People thought that I should not get married because I was still young. I remember when I went um, to get a cake to get a quotation for a cake for the wedding and at that time I was 23 yeah because the initial plan was for us to get married when i was 22 but because of the challenges guys yeah mama is a drama and uh yeah other things other things that maybe i will perhaps talk about and my husband can join me for us to talk about what we went through our wedding and everything so long story short um people like was surprised oh my god you're going to get married at a young age oh my god don't you think that you should wait you know marriage is so difficult and i was like uh yeah maybe mm -hmm. i shouldn't get married but anyways guys i just couldn't see myself without this guy and i was like you know what i can't i just can't i need to get married to this guy because i didn't see myself without him i was he he accepted me for who i am and guys i was so in love and i was like yeah lord take the wheel because i don't know what to do i cannot not get married to him because i love him so much so um i was so excited because of many things when i, I got married I girls and you know women just like in general um people say oh it's painful and blah 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 blah, blah. so yeah i was very anxious so excited and i also wanted to get it over and done with and i was like you know what let's just get it over and done with so everyone is, in, in the wedding was like so exciting everyone in the wedding like oh yes oh yeah yeah back room and everything you're like hey packed in wedding and whatnot and in my mind, you know, when the ceremony was about to end, I'm like, Ish Yani. Happened. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. You're like, okay, girl, relax, relax, relax. Come back, come back. God help me. God, Lord, help me. <laughs> okay, so after that, um, you guys are so tired. I was very tired because we finished at like I don't know like three and then we had to clean obviously I had to sort I'm so hands-on guys so I had to sort out the the catering I, I needed to make sure that everything was in order in terms of people's stuff because if it wasn't in order and everything was not there then we were going to pay and no you can't have that like you cannot especially when you have just recently got married because Money gone, gone, penile, penile, So you just, you know, you need to be there. So after that, okay, everything was sorted, and my husband obviously had to do like little things and you know, like going and getting this and that, sending things back, and all of that. And then he was like, you know what, just rest, and I will do all the work. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Nothing. Oh my god, so blessed. And I did. So I went to rest. Um so it was in the the, the, the package that we had um we we had um 
was an inclusive of um, a, a beautiful um, setting, like a romantic setting, um, obviously after wedding, um, bedroom with um, a jacuzzi and all of that. So, me thinking that, you know, hubby is going to be quick, quick, you know, I just set it up everything, I threw rose petals on the floor, you know, just for it to be romantic, because, you know, I wanted the first time to be perfect, and yeah, champagne, you know, all set and ready, and then I went to bed, you know, kind of like resting, not sleeping as such. I'm waiting for this guy and I'm like, I waited guys and I waited and I waited my husband Shane. He came three o'clock in the morning. He was working, he had to you know sort all of these guys wedding, yeah. Anyways, and he had to sort all of these things out. And then once he was done, we both you know, when you get married to your partner, it's like you won like it's like you're you know it's like you think the same you do the same you know nothing is difficult in terms of like I don't know I can't I can't explain it to you guys but anyway so we decided to just sleep it off and then in the morning came the part where we tried but it didn't work and it's like uh no N nah nah i think you know when your mind is sort of like telling you that you need to because in my mind it's, it's it's like yes now you have to do it because now you're married uh so you have to do it and get it over and done but it just didn't happen anyways so from there we moved on to a honeymoon which was in dragonsburg yeah Zing, honeymoon, and yeah. So when we got there, okay, we tried and tried and tried and tried until we tried and tried and tried and tried again and again, and it happened. Yeah, it happened. Like that after trying for so long, I thought that it was just going to take like a day, but it it didn't. Anyways, yeah, so that's about it. That is me. I mean, 2017 was such an amazing year uh, for me, you know. I got pregnant in 2017. I graduated in 2017. I got married in 2017. Everything just happened so quickly. And I will forever be grateful. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure that you do tune in again on another video that I will be dropping soon. And if you can relate to any of the topic that I've just touched based on, drop a comment down below and like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Yes. And thank you so much, guys. It's my channel, your channel, our YouTube channel. Until next time. Um, goodbye.